All right, I'm gonna give you the instructions on how to log in to Canvas. Um, I'm gonna use one of my students to log in. Um, let's use this one. Your password, remember, is learn. Try that again. 2020, unless you go in and you change the password. Hopefully I typed that in correctly. I did not type it in correctly. Let me try it again. L-E-A-R-N-2-0-2-0. Try that again. All right, so you'll get to the screen. You need to click this button that says, I agree to accept a use policy, and click Submit. Once you click Submit, it's going to look like this. Now, this is what it looks like on the computer. It's very similar when you do it on your phone also. I suggest that you use the URL up here to do this instead of the app. I know initially I said use the app, but I am gonna to suggest to use the URL because you can get everything from there. All right, when you get to this portion, you're going to click on your class that you have. Don't worry about this, you can look at that later. This is just helpful hints to help you um, to learn how to use it so you can use that later, but use these instructions I'm giving you. Um, click on your class, so this is a second grader, and here's what you have. You'll have a welcome message. You just click on it to see what the welcome message says. Okay, it tells you a message from Ms. Smith. Then you can go back to the home page after that. You don't have to look at the welcome message, but I, you know, I'm gonna put stuff on there for you. Um, I have my course name, my name, how you contact me, resources like my YouTube channel. So you can literally just click on this and it'll go there. Here are some extra resources that you can use at home. Um, and then I put down here on the bottom, click on announcements, of course, and then click conferences on the left navigation bar at your time to join in. So don't try to do it at another time. It's not going to um, get you to the conferences. All right. Um, I have a few things I want you to see. Here's my syllabus. So the syllabus just tells you what are we going to be working on this week. So within the syllabus, it tells you the standard. It tells you what skills we'll be working on. It gives you um, additional online resources. You could literally just click on the online resource and you can, um, and you can um, watch it there. Um, everything that I use in my online class, you can do it. You can find those things here too. Okay, so I'll be using some of these in my online class. You can find it here. All right, another thing that you can find is on modules. Modules gives you information on generating a parent code, creating a parent observer account, but we're past that point. We're down here. So here are all the different um, resources that I provided in my syllabus or my lesson plan, and you could click on it. And um, when you click on it, it'll literally pop up right in your screen and you can watch it from right there. When you get through, you can click next if you wanna to go to the next video. And some of these may not pop. I know that the YouTube videos will go, um, but some of the games maybe won't pop up. Let's keep clicking next and see what happens. Here's another video from YouTube. I'm gonna click it again. Now, parts of speech game. So I gave a game. It doesn't work using um, this portion of it. It's from ABCYA. But if you click on that game from the uh, syllabus, then your child will be able to play that game at your convenience. So let's go down and find the game. Um, those are the YouTube. Okay, here we go. ABCYA parts of speech game. So I'll click that and it will open up in another tab and it'll give your child the opportunity to play that game that I suggested. All right, I'm gonna get out of the game. I'm gonna go back to here. So here's the most important thing that I think people were getting confused about. I'm gonna go back to your homepage. Homepage looks like this with the announcement and my information. When it is your time to go to the class, you click on conferences. 
Now, when you click on conferences, right here will be a new conference. It'll be the one that's starting today. If you miss the conference and you are not able to watch it, maybe you're at work or you guys are doing something, it's okay. Come back later and you will see a recording of it down here. And all you do is you click on the session. Then you come down here where it says video. When you click, it tells you how long it is, um, the session date and number. So I click video. And when I click video, here's, my, here's what it looks like. So you just click this play button. All right, I'm starting and this recording. Will, I think um, I'm having trouble play the with video. Um, people. So I am pausing it now. And then when you want to get out of this, all you do is click the X off of that screen and then you're back here again. So these are the important buttons you need. You got your home page, modules, conferences, where you can see the videos, that's where I meet the students, syllabus, so you can find out you know, what we're doing for the day, announcements, and that's where I showed you the announcements. If I put anything up, it'll come right there too. And then I also included this for you guys to click on. This is called Brain Pop. So this is a new, um, or it's a site that, um, that you can go to um, just for some extra resources. And it is free um, right now. Um, we still have to play with it to figure out um, how to do it exactly, because I'd have to find out what the code is. But if they're offering it through Canvas, we should be able to get to it. So let me click that again. What's the code? All right, it's not giving me anything. So when I learn more about Brain Pop, well, I just X out of that. Let's see what happens when I click on something. Let's click on Science. Okay, oh, they've got, uh, let's see. Click on some topics. All right, it's not giving me anything. So I guess we'll just have to um, wait and see how we can work that out. Oh, I was just going too quickly. So here we are. We have some topics up under science. Let's click uh, aliens. And um, what it'll do is it'll give you a little lesson there. Um, right now it's just taking its time. It's thinking, but it'll give you a lesson. So play with it and see if that's something that you want to do. Um, they have a little movie. They have a quiz. Um, so you can do all kinds of some games, some worksheets, graphic organizer, vocabulary, related reading. So it's really up to you. All right, so that's your little tutorial on how to use Canvas. I hope this helps you.